Hello and welcome to All Top 5s. Disclaimer quickly, this video will be talking about execution and death, so be sure you're okay with the topic. It's sad and it's heavy, but I won't feature any truly graphic images or sounds. Traditionally, when a prisoner on death row is to be executed, they are given the opportunity to speak a final statement, otherwise known as their last words. Here are five final statements from history that I think are the most interesting. Number 5. James French The last person executed in Oklahoma before the suspension of capital punishment in America between 1972 and 1976 was James French. He had already received a life sentence for killing a driver who had picked him up as a hitchhiker. He was rumoured to have wished for his own death, but was actually too scared to commit suicide. Instead, he murdered his cellmate in a bid to receive the death penalty. He was convicted and sentenced to die in the electric chair in 1966. Apparently a man with a bit of a sense of humour, he hadn't spent his last days on death row idly. As James French sat in his chair, he made his final statement. How's this for your headline? French fries. Execution is a dark and heavy time, but French seems to have thrown in a joke to lighten his end a little bit. Number 4. Thomas J. Grasso. In 1995, Thomas J. Grasso was executed by lethal injection, also in Oklahoma. He had strangled an 87-year-old woman with her Christmas tree lights on Christmas Eve to steal the change in her purse and her TV. Half a year later, he murdered an 81-year-old man in New York to steal his social security benefit check. These are senseless murders that are completely despicable, and his motives for such horrific actions were confused and baseless, much like his final meal and his last words. Grasso asked for a substantial last meal, receiving 24 steamed mussels, 24 steamed clams, a Burger King double cheeseburger, six barbecue spare ribs, two strawberry milkshakes, half a pumpkin pie with cream and strawberries, and a large can of spaghetti and meatballs. However, when asked to make his final statement before the lethal injection, the last words of his life, he showed his bizarre discontent for the meal, exclaiming, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Grasso's moral compass and priorities had clearly not changed during his time on death row. Number 3. Johnny Garrett. In 1981, a man called Johnny Garrett raped and murdered a 76-year-old nun in Texas. For this absolutely horrific crime, he was convicted and sentenced to death in 1992, aged 28. There was a bit of controversy surrounding evidence being destroyed and new forensic techniques coming to light some time after Garrett's execution. There were also some questions around the statement he had made and the judicial process during his trial, but a review of his case found that the evidence against him was compelling nonetheless. In any case, Garrett was executed in 1992, and when asked to speak his final words, he simply muttered, I'd like to thank my family for loving me and taking care of me, and the rest of the world can kiss my ass. This remorseless, tongue-in-cheek statement shows the lack of respect that Garrett had for his victim and, ultimately, his own life as well. Number 2. Ronald Clark O'Brien So, from the flippant to the penitent, nicknamed the Candyman, Ronald Clark O'Brien was convicted of killing his eight-year-old son with cyanide-laced candy on Halloween to claim the life insurance from the boy's death. He'd also given the same candy to his daughter and three of her friends in an attempt to cover this up, but they didn't eat it, and he was convicted of murder and attempted murder in 1975. His sentence was death for the evil crime that he had committed. In prison, even the other convicts on death row hated and shunned him for having killed a child. After three delayed execution dates, O'Brien was finally put to death by lethal injection in 1984. He himself was hugely against the death penalty, and his continued appeals are partly what caused the delays. When he made his final statement, O'Brien spoke eloquently. What is about to transpire in a few moments is wrong. However, we as human beings do make mistakes and errors. This execution is one of those wrongs, yet doesn't mean our whole system of justice is wrong. Therefore, I would forgive all who have taken part in any way in my death. Also, to anyone I have offended in any way during my 39 years, I pray and ask your forgiveness, just as I forgive anyone who has offended me in any way. And I pray and ask God's forgiveness for all of us respectively as human beings. To my loved ones, I extend my undying love. 
to those close to me, know in your hearts I love you one and all. God bless you, and may God's best blessings be always yours. Ronald C. O'Brien P.S. During my time here, I have been treated well by all TDC personnel. I like the respect and remorse he seems to show during these final words, whether they're genuine or not. It's not something you hear too often from someone who knows that they're just about to die. Number 1. Aileen Wuornos Between 1989 and 1990, a serial killer took the lives of seven men in America. She claimed the murders were in self-defense while working as a prostitute, but the judge ruled her as guilty of six of the murders and sentenced her to death. Several books were written based on Eileen's case, and she became the subject of many documentaries about prison and justice. Her story was also adapted into a somewhat biographical account of her life and sentencing in the film Monster, starring Charlize Theron, who played Eileen Wuornos. Eileen was executed in 2002, killed by lethal injection after years of alleged torment and abuse from her prison guards on death row. These years of abusive incarceration may have taken their toll on Eileen, as her last words are some of the strangest ever recorded. Her final statement was, Yes, I would just like to say I'm sailing with the rock, and I'll be back, like Independence Day, with Jesus. June the 6th, like the movie, big mothership and all, I'll be back, I'll be back. Eileen's final statement shows the thoughts of someone confused and unhinged, making this a sad end to a violent life of abuse and unhappiness. And that's it from all top fives for this week. I'd just like to point out now that I'm not saying the death penalty is right, and I try to treat any sort of discussion of this sort with respect, and at the right time and place. I'd rather that any discussion in the comments below focused on the final statements rather than a for and against argument about capital punishment, so please be respectful and considerate and, you know, just don't be a dick. So if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up because it really does help me out and you can click the big old subscribe button for a new video from me every Tuesday on lots and lots of different topics. So peace and love and happiness to each and every one of you, have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time on all top fives.